either by choice or by chance, we are going to be pushed towards changing. Now, there are two main things I recognize in people that want to change and make lasting change and continue making progress past that point. Characteristic number one is that they are absolutely disgusted with the person that they see in the mirror. Before, when I was drinking, I was just seeing the person that I was at that time, not the person I wanted to be. And that honestly just made me feel like crap. It made me feel shitty. There was no point. There was no rhyme. There was no reason. I was a creature of whim, not a being of will. And that made me feel like shit. I had zero respect. Number two is the option to go back to that person does not exist. When people make lasting change, it's because the fear of going back to where they were when they first started outweighs the fear of consistently making the effort to make progress forward. Even if one thing doesn't work, move to the next chance, the next possibility, the next opportunity so that they can reinforce their decision to become the person it takes to get the outcome they want but without being tethered to the person that they were holding them back. When we don't have the option to go back to what we feel comfortable in, we have no choice but to grow, to develop, to become better human beings, to be better versions of ourselves for us first and then to the others around us. So if you recognize that you are not happy with the person that you see in the mirror, that's a good indicator that you're ready for the change. If you're at the point where going back to who you were is not a choice and you're in a perpetual state of self-development and self-growth and self-actualization, that is when lasting results and lasting progress happens because we need to remember that it is a lifelong endeavor. It is not a six week, 12 month, two year, five year adventure. The goal is to try getting better for the rest of life. For this finite amount of time, we may as well push to become the best version of ourselves while we have this time, rather than the alternative where we find ourselves sitting in suffering or in a sewer cycle where we just keep on perpetuating the same horrible, shitty existence because we just don't want to get out of our own way. There's a lot less external factors getting in our way than we believe. Humans are conceptual by nature. We don't live in the reality that we are in. We are in our minds first, and then we perceive the world around us as we see as appropriate. But we do not look inwards to understand what our internal world is. When we have no idea what our internal world is, then we allow the external world to make the decisions for us on who we are on what we do, on what goals we want to accomplish, on what values we take on, on the individuals that we should be hanging around with. But when we look in the mirror and we recognize that although it may not be discussed that we see looking back at us, we need to make sure that we gauge the amount of respect for the person that we see in the mirror. Because the person looking back at us is a result of our decisions, of our choices. Many of those choices and many of those behaviors are ones that we choose to perpetuate because we only understand it at this point in time. We are unsure and we are uncertain of what is outside of ourselves. So we must engage in curiosity in order to explore, in order to find what is possible or what tools we can adopt in order for us to become the best version of ourselves and to remember that going back is not an option. There's only forward. And who we are today is our future's past, just like how we, who we are today is our past's future. We have the opportunity right now to change the trajectory of our future, which is just a series of small decisions done on a day-to-day -day basis.